All right, new at 10, a story about a little change that can make a big impact, especially that change happening to be something when it comes to Lake Michigan. Steve is live tonight to explain. Steve. Shannon, the uh, surface of our Great Lake changes with the seasons in ways we can easily see and ways we can easily feel. But way down deep, Lake Michigan also undergoes a seasonal change. 30 years of data shows the depths of Lake Michigan are just not as cold as they used to be. It's a tiny change scientists say could be enough to alter our seasons. It's one of the ways we gauge how we have fared through yet another Wisconsin winter the ice on Lake Michigan. A lot and it's been seriously cold. A little and we've had it easy. How do you like where we brought you today? Uh, you know, it's a nicer setting than where I am at this point. Craig Stowe looks at the ice a little differently. He's a scientist with NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. To him, less ice is a symptom of things getting warmer. What's the difference between the surface water getting warmer and the depth getting warmer. It takes a whole lot of heat to mix down that far. Stowe knows this because NOAA's been tracking it for decades. About halfway between Racine and Holland, Michigan, sensors keep close tabs on the temperature 492 feet deep. For 30 years, those sensors have reported back almost hourly. What they say is the depths of Lake Michigan are warming and the annual turnover of the lake from warm to cold is changing. That period of turnover is getting later. What we used to see down at 110 meters, at about 390 feet, is, is now occurring, it used to occur in, say, um, November. It's now occurring in January. So that season has been pushed back by, by several weeks. The warming isn't likely something you'd feel by sticking your hand in the water, but NOAA says it is significant, 0.11 degrees Fahrenheit per decade for the last 30 years. In total, a third of a degree. A small change until you realize just how much water is involved. It has to be a ridiculous amount of energy to take that much water up, even that little bit amount. It's a, it's a whole lot of heat energy, and, and essentially what we see is it's accumulating in the lake over that period of time. So what does this mean? Warmer lake temperatures could wreak havoc on the lake's ecology. For us on the surface, Craig Stowe says a warmer lake could shift our seasons, changing winter in Wisconsin as we know it. So if, uh, if people say, man, we're getting a lot warmer Christmases than, than we used to, they may not be just imagining that things may actually have changed. Those are all symptoms of, of a gradual warming that's been occurring for a number of decades now. In case you're wondering, in modern times, Lake Michigan has never frozen over 100 percent. Ninety five percent is the record we had back in 1979. Uh, there was ice from shore to shore from Wisconsin all the way across the Michigan, but there were still parts of our Great Lake that had not yet frozen over.